What's up guys, today we have Preet Mikkelsen on the show. He's a world-renowned instructor. He teaches for Jiu-Jitsu Globetrotters. He has a defensive BJJ website where he shows all sorts of great defense. And uh, he's been traveling around the world just teaching his uh, defensive Jiu-Jitsu. And a lot of times uh, in Jiu-Jitsu, kind of uh, offense is prioritized, but Preet really specialized in defense. So really happy to have him here today. We did a one hour discussion on his five defensive postures. So make sure to check that out. I'll link it at the end. And we also did this role and I think you guys will like it. Preet has really good defense. I mean, obviously that's what he teaches. So it was a really fun puzzle for me to try to figure out. Although we weren't going 100% in terms of intensity, we were going hard enough to challenge each other and put on a good show for you guys. I try to pass Preet's reverse Delahiva guard by pinning his hips with my shin and backstepping, but Preet does a good job staying connected with his butterfly hook. This is what I was trying to do. But like I said, we weren't rolling at 100% intensity. This was our first time rolling and meeting each other, so we're being very respectful to each other. I don't want to be a tryhard or anything like that. I'd rather just match intensity. The purpose of these roles is never to prove a point. It's always to entertain and educate you guys. I get past Preet's knee shield by basically rolling over his hips. He tries to stay connected with his butterfly hook, but is unable to. Watch out Preet is controlling my grips, stopping me from connecting my hands for a seatbelt grip. I call them magnets, so to speak. They're, they never touch, so try to fight a little bit. Yeah, it's not, that's not easy. For sure. And then, you know, I can pull it out, yeah. do this, and then, you know, go. Eventually, I am able to connect my hands as pre transitions to more of a referee's position in wrestling, and I use this to start dragging him down and taking his back. So I take his back, but pre transitions to what he calls the hawking position, which actually makes it really hard for me to attack the back. All he's really doing is lifting his butt up and bringing his chest and head off the center line. So this, now everything works for you. Yeah, yeah? exactly. It's you have all the attacks, so I actually want this. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So, because I feel like the choke's gonna be really hard to get. Yeah. And Trapping your arms gonna be difficult. Because if you get my shoulder, you can choke me. Yeah, yeah oh, exactly. this. Yeah. If I do this. Yeah, now I can't grab your shoulder. Now my hand's like far away. Yeah. I really like that. And that's something that I'm gonna use in the future when I get my back taken. I think it works really well. Preet's doing a great job of not letting me get my second hook in by both controlling it and blocking the space that I need to get it in there. I've mentioned in the past that if you connect yourself to someone, they're going to go where you go. So that's why I connect my chest to his back and then I drag him down. And at the same time, I'm trying to block his arm with my hook so that when I have his back, I have the arm trapped. I go side to side from his turtle to figure out which way will have the path least resistance to drag him down into back control. Although I'm not able to trap an arm, I am able to drag him down and take his back. Pre goes back to the hawking, but this time I'm able to find the space to put in my second hook. And then I drag him down so he's no longer in turtle. It's actually pretty hard to attack someone from turtle when you have their back with your hooks in. You're really limited in your offensive options. One of my favorite options is the Ronda Rousey armbar, but I didn't feel like I'd get it on Preet at this moment. And now Preet clears my hooks and does a bit of an inversion to escape. And then ideally I wanna go, you know, invert. Yeah. I use the instep of my foot to keep me safe from any potential leg lock threats and hug his hips tightly so I can make sure that I keep control of him as he escapes. It's really cool to see Preet use what we talked about during the hour long discussion. Preet really practices what he preaches, just like I do. But now I have Preet with a tight Kimura grip and he's in threat of being armbarred. But he's doing a great job making sure I can't get my leg over his head. Because without my leg over his head, I run the risk of him coming up on top and escaping. I shrimp out a bit and use my heel to keep him down. And now I can get my leg over his head, but right away he's controlling it and stopping me from really controlling him with it. But he gets my leg off his face, so I grab his leg instead. And grabbing his leg has the same effect as having my leg over his head. It prevents him from coming up on top. This is a really cool armbar escape and something I haven't seen before. By basically doing a reverse shrimp, he gets his head away from my legs so I can't push off his head with my legs. And it also clears his elbow of my hip line. You have a regular hip track? I call this, let's say, a jab. And you have a reverse. So I do this, and now I can have a hawking or bridge, bridge, and now I shrimp to you, and then. Quickly, I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club delivering awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands. It's free to join. Every month, they introduce new members to cool new products. The box lineup changes every month, and each box has around $70 in value, but you only have to pay a fraction of the price. 90% of products in Bespoke Post boxes come from small brands, many of which are based right in the US. You only have to pay for what you want. 
You'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz you take when signing up. And before it's shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside to decide if you'd like to one, keep it, two, swap it for a different box on offer, or three, skip the month entirely for absolutely no charge. Plus the box lineup changes every month. It's really easy to do the quiz. For example, barware, mixology. I don't really drink, so put not interested in home decor and accessories. Blankets, lighting, towels, candles, and plants. Those sound pretty good, so I'll put very interested. To get 20% off your first box, click the link in the description and enter JTJJ20 at checkout or go to bespoke.com slash JTJJ20. Really cool stuff by Preet and as he escapes, I make sure that I come up on top and jump to the other side and we're back in this turtle position. I'm a little too high in the back right now and risk getting rolled over, so I make sure to adjust my position and get back. Pre tries to do this really cool reversal where he hugs my wrist and rolls through, but I'm able to time it and take his back as he does. I actually only recently learned that you can do this using the wrist by watching my friend Zhang Gi, who pulled this off during a super fight at ASG. Before, I only thought you could do this by hugging the tricep, but the wrist makes so much more sense because the wrist is much easier to get than the tricep. Do you, you catch the wrist or you try to go over the tricep? No, seen a full play? I need the wrist because yeah. not many people give me the elbow. Exactly. Uh, because they try to be like really like cautious of it. So if I if I play like here, so you get in, so I only get this. Okay. Yeah. And now, now there's a fight. Although I am able to counter this time, he does get me later in the round. So more of the same, I have Preet's back again and he's not really giving me any openings, but at the same time, I'm not really trying super hard to get underneath the chin, not really trying to force anything, just trying to see what I can get. And Preet seems to like this referee's position where he has his hands on the mat in turtle, but I much prefer the conventional nice and tight with your arms turtle like he does here. The referee's position is really common in wrestling like you see this wrestler do here. One thing that I found pretty interesting is that despite not much jiu-jitsu training, this wrestler kind of naturally goes to that hawking position like you see Preet do. The hawking really does make it harder to get the choke in. I got too comfortable in Preet's turtle with the body lock and the seatbelt grip and he's able to hit that cool reversal on me. I think the key is also like any judo guy would say, tell you, is you have to go under them. Yeah. So if you if I roll away from you, then I kind of crush my own ribs. Exactly. But if I roll under you, you even if you react, you you fall more likely over me. Yeah. And if I roll under you, I actually drag your elbow with me. See how he does drag my elbow underneath him? Once he's underneath me, this is very similar to what I talk about for sweeps, is that you need to get their hips over your center line to make them easy and your opponent feel weightless. To improve position, I just make sure to hold on until I can find my opportunity to frame on him and make space. But Pre kind of just lets me reset. Like I said, we're not going balls to the wall. We're just having a fun roll. Watch how Preet is really tracking my hips, not letting me get an angle on him. Keeping his right forearm down to limit my hip mobility, which is what you need to do in top close guard. You can't let people get angles on you. Preet is really pressuring down on my close guard and my left arm was originally being used to break his posture, but now I use it as an overhook. And now I transition into butterfly guard and I originally tried to use my right foot to kick out his post, but then transition into a more traditional way of pushing my foot off the mat and lifting with my butterfly hook. I use this sweep a lot and by the way my BJJ Fanatics no gi chokes instructional is out now. Keep in mind that this is a very hard sweep to get against wrestlers because they have a lifetime of experience keeping their hips pointed towards the mat. When I finished the sweep I should have knee slid right away because hanging out here and taking a seatbelt grip was not a good idea. I basically gave Preet what he needed to hit that reversal a second time. Because I had the seatbelt grip on top, when we got to the bottom, my arms were in the worst possible position in side control. With my arm separated from my body, I want my arm underneath Preet's armpit, not over his shoulder. I just take my time, stay relaxed, don't do any sudden movements that are going to cause me trouble, and then I wait for my opportunity to get an underhook, but instead go for the legs and finish with a single. I'm back to attacking the turtle and some will say the turtle is a trash position and some will say that it's great. For me, I'd rather momentarily turtle if I need to to prevent my guard from being passed, but it's not somewhere I like to hang out. It has served me well in the past like when I hit this knee bar and I'm planning on doing a knee bar video soon so hope you're looking forward to that. There are some though that are very good at turtle and make it a big part of their game like Eduardo Tellis who's an absolute legend and clearly Preet is very good at it too. The drawback is definitely that you risk getting your back taken. I'm needing to get creative as Preet's defense is very solid. At the same time, he's not overly actively trying to escape. It's easier to submit someone as they're trying to escape rather than when they're defending. But this is more of a showcase of Preet's defense, which is top tier. I would definitely check out what Preet has to offer on YouTube and his website. He's definitely Jordan Teacher Jitsu approved. He tries that reversal again, but this time my weight placement is a lot better as I've adapted to it and I don't want to get reversed again. 
<laughs> you know, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. I don't want to be fooled a third time. I have his back again, but Preet does a great job of clearing the hooks. Because he's protecting his neck with his right arm, it's okay to reach back with his left arm. You can only reach down for the hooks if you're protecting your neck. We talk about jiu-jitsu being a grip fight quite a bit on the channel, and this is a great example. Preet blocks the grips I need for the armbar by controlling the leg that I need to go over his head and hiding the other hand underneath my left leg, which also prevents it from getting underneath his armpit like I need it. Because I don't know your game also, so I was like, okay, what do you do, you know? How do you attack the arms, legs, you know? What kind of back attacks you have, you know? So do you go for a like short, like Tarika Platas, uh, like uh, those Parata Platas, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't know, so it was fun to like, like adapt and see like how you're gonna tilt me or do stuff and you watch your aim actually is, you know, and everything. So it's, that's why first rolls are always super interesting. Like yeah. you don't know anything, you know, like, okay, what's, what's he's up to, you know? Yeah, so it's cool. Yeah, I felt the same way. Like, how am I gonna, you know, adapt to his style? Because I know you have a pretty unique style that way. So, yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. Yeah, thanks again. Great. Thank you very much for doing this. So, yeah, like I said, I never knew what come, comes out of that. Yeah. But I think it it, 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 it came out pretty good. Yeah, you know? it turned out perfect. Yeah. yeah. Really good. I think people yeah. are really gonna like it. So, you, you never know, you know? Exactly. So, very good. I'm very happy. I, I, I took this chance, or, you know? You, you, uh, and you were able to like uh, talk to me and you know we roll and stuff so we get to change some feelings yeah. you know how we do how we do things and really really awesome exactly i think she needs to win i agree it's great for us yes. and great for the viewers yeah yeah so, cool very cool thank you for sticking around until the end of the video if you're still here please leave a comment or fist bump and i'll see you guys next time